This is my DIY Xiaomi monitor lamp. Siri, desk silo. That's done. And here's how I made it. Roughly modeling the parts on on shape just to get the general idea on how everything will work together. Printed and tested sample parts to test if they work in real life. This method seems to work for me for designing parts. Model this long boy in two parts to fit my printer. Added grooves for the wires to go behind the RGB strip. It leads to the back and through the arm to hide the wires. The print failed as it started to lift at the bottom. To prevent that, I printed the other half in two pieces but that also failed as there was a blackout. I didn't want to waste those, so I measured the printed section and offset the original models and print again. Glued the parts together with hot glue. Using wood filler to fill in the seams and gaps. I might have overdone it. Using a file to knock out my mistakes so I wouldn't sand as much. Sanded for hours because there's just so much filler. Lesson learned. Spray painted the primer, then white, then finally clear matte. Folded the RGB strip to get more light density as this was just leftovers from a previous project. And of course it does not fit, I thought I measured it properly. Oopsie. Unfolded it to its original length and cut to size. Too bad it also doesn't fit next to each other. Oh well. I decided to braid the wires as it's difficult to put them in the grooves and for style points. Slipping in the wires through the body and the arm. Use a node MCU because I'm familiar with it and it can Wi-Fi. For the programming, I use ESP Home because of minimal setup and coding. I like that it has over-the-air updates and API support. Being a web developer, it's nice to have something in this project that I know how to use. Speaking of something I don't know how to use, use the potentiometer for the brightness adjustments and this blue mechanical switch for the power toggle. Both are relatively easy to set up in ESP Home. I've been using this camera light. It was okay, but it didn't fit my setup that well. I added bias lighting from the strip I cut off from the main light, which you can control separately. be doing the controller part next.